In this video, you will learn how to create a funnel chart in Microsoft Excel. Currently, you can see here I have generated this funnel chart using this set of data. It is the data about the sale. First column shows the stage and second column shows the amount. So let's start this tutorial. If this video is helpful for you, then please like this video and subscribe our channel for more informative videos. In a separate sheet, I have already entered the data to save time. To generate this graph, firstly, I will select this data. Now go to Insert tab and in Insert tab, you will find the option of Charts. I will click here. Then there are different chart options. Under Waterfall Chart, you will find the option of Funnel Chart. Click here and Funnel Chart is generated now. Now you will learn how to conditionally format this chart like this one. Firstly, I will change the chart title, select this one, double click here and I will write sales pipeline. Now select this one and format it according to your desire by going to this home option. I will bold it. You can change its color using this option and you can adjust the font size using these options. Now next task is to change the color of these bars. Select this one. Now you can see here all bars are selected. Again, click on particular bar. Now you can see here only first bar is selected. Right click. You will find the option of format data point. Click here. Go to fill and line option. And from here I will select solid fill. And using this bucket you can change its color. I will select red. Now if you scroll down you will find the option of border. I will select solid line and from here you can adjust the width of this line. I will select 0.5 pt and you can see here I have already selected black color. You can select any color according to your desire using this option. Now I will select second bar. You can see here only second bar is selected now. Go to fill and line option again and select solid fill and you can select any color or you can also select gradient fill and select any gradient color. You can also select pattern fill. For example, if I select this pattern, then this bar pair color will be changed to this pattern. You can also adjust the uh, background and color of the pattern using these options. For example, I will select this one and you can see here its color is changed now. Similarly, I will select third bar. Again, click on it, right click, go to format data point and go to fill and line option. And from here, I will select either you can select solid fill, gradient fill, pattern fill. It is according to your desire. For example, I want to select solid fill and I want to change its color to purple one. Now you can see here its color is changed now. So by doing so, you can easily change the color of these bars and you can insert the border according to your desire and you can also adjust the width of this border. For example, if I select solid line for border and from here I want to change the border color, I will use this option and I can change its color to green one and I will adjust the width using this option. So by selecting individual bar, you can also customize their color and border size. So next step is how to in, how to change or how to edit these data labels. Select this one, right click and go to format data label option. Here you will find different option. Uh, what type of data you want to display. Currently you can see here only values is selected. If you check only values, then only these values will be displayed on these bars. If you check on this category name, select this one. Now you can see here the values along with category names are displayed here. These are the category names. 
and if you want to insert series name which is the amount you can check this option and all series name category name as well as values will be displayed here i will uncheck series name and category name i want to only keep these values so you can see here only values are displayed here now uh, close this one and if you want to change their found color and size or bold them you can use these options i will bold it and change its color to bold i will change color to black change their font size so you can do anything now how to edit these axis labels and how to edit uh, insert a solid line and with black color select this one now you can see here the axes are selected you can bold them change their font size and you can adjust their color now right click and here you will find the option of format axis go to axis option and here you will find the option of tick marks you can insert tick marks on outside or inside using these option now go to fill and line option and scroll down you you will see a option of line you, i want to insert a solid line here so i will select solid line and from here i will choose black color and change its width to 1.5 pt now you can see here its width is changed now now the last option is how to uh, adjust the gap width in chart select this chart right click and you will find the option of format data series and here you will find the option of series options and there is the option of gap width under this series option you can increase or decrease the gap width between these bars currently it is zero and if you increase this one now you can see here there is a gap between these bars which is visible for you so by doing so you can easily format the funnel chart according to your desire that's the end of this video thanks for watching this video goodbye